Yeah? Jody. Hey, it's, it's Ryan. Ryan! I was just wondering if you got my email. What, wait, what, what email? The one I sent three days ago. You know, I've, I've actually been having problems with my computer. What, what was the email about? Dinner, tonight, fancy restaurant. <laughs> anyway, it, it's too late now, so maybe another time? Shit. Shit, I'm so sorry. I... You know, why, why don't you just come over here for dinner tonight? I mean, you wanted to see my apartment anyway, so... Uh, sure, but I... How about around eight? Just... Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring a kick-ass bottle of wine. See you later. Now I get why you blasted my computer. You didn't want me to see Ryan. It's not your call, Aiden. I can do what I want. Fuck this. Fuck this! We're not gonna start this again. I'm not yours, Aiden. I can have a relationship with whoever I want. This is my life. Oh, do you fucking hear me? This is my life. You know what? I happen to think Ryan is great. Right? He's charming, he's intelligent, he's funny. And I think I'm falling for him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm aware of what happened at the bar. Fuck you for reminding me. Ryan is not like that. Okay. Okay. It's seven o'clock. I have an hour to make dinner, tidy up, and make myself look. Books. Okay, on the bookshelf. Okay, great. Huh. Yeah, that's very funny, Aiden. Wow, it's very romantic. <laughs> trash can in the kitchen. God. Oh my God, the dinner. Okay, there's, there's got to be something in the kitchen. All right, 
dirty clothes in the basket in the bathroom. All right, there. Christ, Aiden. Look, you just don't get it. Oh, crap. Crap, he's early. change. He is going to see a whole new side of me. You might as well just give up, Aiden. Okay? This date is going on. Period. Good one, Aiden. Okay, you got me. Now, open the door. Aiden! Aiden, come on, open up! I gotta find something I can make in one hour with what's ever left in the fridge. Asian beef, huh? 
I mean, that looks good. It's not too complicated. Curried chicken with oven-baked vegetables. It'll take some time in the oven, but it seems doable. Pizza delivery. It's not exactly gourmet, but it, it, no preparation, no mess. I mean, it could be an option. Yeah, Asian beef. I mean, it looks suitably exotic. <laughs> as long as I don't manage to fuck it up. Thanks, Aiden. So far, so good. Ginger. It's supposed to be an aphrodisiac. I mean, it's not in the recipe, but... It can't hurt. I mean, I need all the help I can get. All right, add the sake for flavor. <laughs> I think I'm beginning to like cooking. Ryan, you are gonna love this.
You know, you're wasting your time, Aiden. You're not gonna stop me from seeing Ryan. Aiden, don't be a pain in the ass. I didn't behave yourself. This is important to me, and I'm counting on you. Hi. <laughs> uh, Chateau Margot, 2001. The guy in the store said it was a pretty good year. That sounds good to me. So. Get the um, the thing that opens the wine. <laughs> cool apartment. Huh? Yeah, thanks. I didn't. For fuck's sakes. No, oh, no, I'll do it. <laughs> to your new apartment. To my new apartment. <laughs> Oh, so when did you move in? Um, a couple weeks ago. The agency found it for me and all furnished and everything. And how about you? Where, where do you live? Oh, I uh, have a place just outside of town. It's small, but you know, it's got a little garden and it's pretty quiet. Did you, did you grow up here? No, no, I was born in Oakland. It's nothing. It's just... Aiden's messing with us. Ignore him. Ignore him. Um... How did you end up joining... Uh, 
you know, I'm gonna go check on the dinner because this cooking thing, it's a whole new adventure <laughs> for me. You need help? No, but why don't you go sit and more wine would be nice. <laughs> Beef, right? Yeah. No, I was sent to China for a year. I love Asian food. Oh, well, do not get your hopes up because this is probably the second time that I've cooked, and I would rather not talk about the first time. Mm. Good. Oh, good. I'm. I'm glad. I'm glad you like it. We've been working together now for what? what two years? I know mean, almost nothing about you. Well, I mean, there's nothing much to say. I grew up with my parents on the DPA campus. And then Nathan looked after me. You pretty much know the rest, so. Yeah, you know, your parents, do you, uh, you still see them? No. No, I don't. I'm. Did, did Nathan ever manage to explain to you why you have this link with Aiden? No. I mean, not really. I mean, they learned a lot of stuff about the infra world. Really not much about Aiden. I mean, I, I don't think even he knows who or what he is. <laughs> it's like, is he here now, listening to us? And... Yeah. Yeah, he never leaves me. Uh, what about you? Do you have Do you have any family here? No, no. My uh, my parents are still in Oregon. Go to see them as little as possible. <laughs> and are you um? Are you married or anything? No, no. That way. Yes, I mean, I, I, I was. You know, my ex-wife and I have been separated for two years. And, uh, yeah, it couldn't work. I mean, it, in the end, it didn't. You know, we had our good times, but uh, eventually we decided to go our separate ways. How about you? Anyone on your radar? I've got Aiden, so. I mean, anyone in our world. You know, Aiden kind of has always made people run away. Or, or maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just too odd for anyone to be interested in. You're special, Jody. Aiden's got nothing to do with this. Stop. Jody, what's the matter? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not, um, it's not your fault. There's, there's just... There's some things that I can't forget. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. 